So it's Vindy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Vindy, sometimes described as the George W. Bush ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these. Okay, so we... Uh, tonics. You unlock them throughout game through game of play. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to talk about uh, the, the tonics from the get-go, even though I had them all unlocked, since I unlocked them on a different file. Because they will, they were going to spoil some of the moves that we would get, and I didn't want to do that. So we're going to go through, and I'm going to tell you how to unlock these because they used to, um, when they're not unlocked, they'll either say like, hey. "Oh, here's what you need to do to unlock it," or some of them, uh, for example, pants say like, "This tonic's a secret," so you just have to figure out how to get them. So I'm going to tell y'all how to unlock these. Hey. Oh, Wellard, gain plus one butterfly health slot. You do this by eating a butterfly. Hey. Baller. The roll, roll move uses less power. Roll for 400 hours. Super slam. Gain a more powerful buddy slam. Never use the buddy slam in a full playthrough of ukulele. Bruiser. Gain extra health from butterflies. Eat more butterflies. Live wire. Power meter regenerates faster. I think it normally takes 15 seconds to regenerate. I believe with this it takes 10. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this one, you recall a boring numbers fact. That's how you unlock it. Uh, fall proof. No damage when falling from great heights. Uh, you unlock this by ground pounding, like right before you fall off the edge and then falling. I, that one you do also have to fall out of your real actual window. Hopefully you live on the first floor. I live on the fourth floor and I have since this game came out. So it, it was very expensive for me to uh, unlock this one. Uh, hey, hoarder, hey. collect quills with Yuka's Lizard Lash, which re- realistically you should have just been able to do from the get go. Uh, and you unlock this one by complaining to Platonic Twitter that this is just should have been the default. Uh, hey, salmon. Hey. Hold your breath longer underwater. Die underwater. Hunter, this one's really cool. Since when rare items are near. So whenever you get like nearing like the end of like having all of the, the quills and stuff, uh, you'll get like a little whistle. Whenever you get close that to one's, them. That one is nice. Did, did you play those like Spyro remakes that they made? I bought it, but I haven't played it. And I've never yeah. actually played the original Spyro. I, I hadn't either. I just played some of the remakes, and they've got like your little dragonfly friend, and if you press a button, he'll point to the nearest collectible, which comes in handy if you've just got like one left that you missed. Oh, that's cool. Those games seem yeah. cool. I want to. I want to play them sometime, but they're it's just fine. Been busy. Uh, you unlock this one by uh, by catcalling a, a quill. Uh, loaded. More ammo from berry bushes. You unlock this one by I guess complaining a bunch that. There should be more berries or something. I don't know. Peekaboo. Is, huh? No, nothing. Keep going. Uh, Peekaboo. So this is the one why we waited so long, uh, because Yuka's invisibility lasts longer. I didn't want to spoil Camo Cloak. And you unlock this one by be, being considerate to your viewers. Wow. Butter three. Uh, this sets your health to a maximum of three. You beat this one by being a gamer. I had to cheat to unlock that one. Cheat codes. A uh, helium. <laughs> you just you just consume some helium. It's easy. Uh, this just uh, like makes the characters' voices like higher pitch. Uh, athlete. I don't know. Just run around a bunch, and eventually you could become an athlete. I don't remember what this one does. <laughs> Steve, do you remember what this one does? <laughs> uh, what does that one do? Oh, I think it it gives us more energy. Oh yeah. Uh, sixty-four bit. Uh, this one you unlock by waiting like three years and then <laughs> yeah, play wait, the game. <laughs> wait for several years. Uh, so this was a uh, a Kickstarter like thing. They were like, "We'll be a 64-bit," uh, and it just took them a while to get around to uh, to actually doing the damn thing. Uh, and then when they did, there was a bit of controversy around it uh, because it just it was it was lackluster. A lot of people thought. Uh, but they uh, recently improved it as of like what our like second episode or whatever. Like we yeah. finished recording it and then we looked and it was like, oh, it updated. Uh, and pants, you get this one for getting every pagey in the game and it gives Yuka a pair of pants. Now, Steve, should we should I show what these look like right now or should we make them wait a little bit longer and we'll show them even more in depth? Should we give them a little taste or make them wait? I think that we could show the pants one right now. We'll show the pants one. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. Beautiful. I like the uh, the restraint that they went with to not just, like, here's banjo pants. I, sure. They they went with something. Some interesting colors yeah, for it's like, these characters. 
Yeah, like I I would have liked if like um like if you're gonna go with this like like swimsuit like underwear style like instead of a blue and yellow like the main color was purple and red that way it matched uh Laylee. You know, yeah, you but kind your... of just going the like what if they just clashed with everything else in the design look. <laughs> yeah. I, I lost my thing, but I'm gonna swap back to live wire because that one's just it's kind of the best one. We will we will look at uh pants and 64 bit. A little bit more in depth uh, as we do returns to all these levels because there's still crap we have to get. And maybe Steve can uh, play along at home. Maybe. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. That'd be insane. That would just be buck wild. More like. I'd have to find my buck wild. Or maybe buck mild if it wasn't actually that impressive to you. When I go through this, it's going to show that cutscene. Be shocked and amazed, but then I'm going to edit it into a later part of this video. <laughs> wow. Oh, a wow. cutscene playing when we this. left the Cashino. Look, there's Trouser. We like him. There he is. An amazing cutscene that happened when I left the Cashino for the first time. Incredible. You got to know where he's at. That's great. I love that. Thank you. The the cutscene that we just saw, that's what you love. That's what you were talking about. The one that we just saw, yes. Yeah, we we just saw right now. For the for the very first time. I like the music in this segment. It reminds me a lot of like Banjo Tooie. You get a lot of this yeah. uh, like Gruntilda Industry style stuff. Oops, wrong one. That's not the one. That's not the one. I see I told you I was gonna forget the I was so proud of myself. You told me happy birthday. That made me feel so good. Um, the Domino Edition, pretty good. Um, but I just, I don't know. It happens. Happens with age. So this is just straight up the, the book machine. That's stealing all the books, which I'll remind you is the plot of this game. <laughs> Theoretically. <laughs> Theoretically, the plot of this game is... All Capital B made a machine to steal all the books to like sell them or something, so he'd have a monopoly on book. He's, I think it was like his machine converted uh, books into profit. I don't. <laughs> it was very abstract and not really what the game ended up being about. And also, the game didn't end up being about anything else. Instead, it was just kind of nothing. Yeah, but but then the uh, the one book, the special book that uh, that Laylee just happened to have, uh, and was reading like at the beginning of the game, uh, that got stolen. So Laylee's like, "We gotta go get that book back." And then the pages are from the one book, and the pages are afraidy because if if Capital B gets the pages in the one book, he can like rewrite reality. Yeah, there's a lot of different threads that aren't really. <laughs> uh utilized yeah they just kind of happen yeah no notes yeah it's it's like i don't oh whoops i just straight up walked in that guy I wasn't even thinking um like i i it's weird so i'm gonna complain but also like this game basically didn't need to have a plot so it's not that big a deal no but, but also, like, I, I do think that there's something to be said about like a simple, consistent plot? Yeah. You, you like, get, I, I would say that sister. Impossible Layer has that. Yeah, yeah. Impossible Layer actually does something weird that I, I uh, didn't understand for a while why they entirely do, uh, but we'll, I guess, talk about that later. And by later, I mean whenever that game happens. Oh, I got shot back. You couldn't even flinch. So this is our... Uh, last free move of the game, and the game, the move that breaks the game. <laughs> yeah, it's busted now. So we can now fly at any time, anywhere we want. And it doesn't use that much energy. Yeah, you'd be surprised how little energy it does use. Um, so it's like... I, I'm, I'm going to defend this later. We can't come over here. Uh, I'm going to defend this later. Um, but, like, basically, you know, you could play this game in such a way that you rush to this point as early as possible and then just kind of cheese a lot of the, the rest of the game. No, it's which one? There we go. You could just cheese a lot of the rest of the game. Uh, but, I, you know, 
The game needed a fly because fly is fun. I yeah, I think that like I think that this game got very like like they can't have like banjo pads. Yeah. And it's or, kind of or to more, its detriment. More specifically, they just kind of didn't want to to like make it different. Like so it isn't just like oh, it is just banjo now. Yeah. Can't go in first person. Just wanted to to take a look around. Make sure there's nothing in this area. Yeah, so it's like being able to fly anywhere like you remember the uh, the gloomy gym grotto like that used to be a very difficult platforming segment. Unless um, you waited. Yeah, unless you waited, you just got this power and then came back or like, nope, never mind, just gonna fly through. That's a chunky shadow. <laughs> All shadows, chat. A chunky, a chunky shadow is called a shadow. Mm. This, oh, can I attack? Yeah, oh, nice. I saved it with my gamer reflexes. This is a strange place to link back to. Yeah, it is. I thought this would link. Well, I mean, I guess... it it it's a little bit different when you can just fly up there now, though. Yeah. Oh, and what's that? That's the entrance to the the last area. There's a, there's a lot of like overworld stuff before we we go into uh, the, the best world in the game. So let's just look around a little bit more before we go into that place. It is interesting that a. Uh, uh that the world after you get the flight power is very strong because it kind of shouldn't be. Yeah, because um, I, f I feel like it was maybe to, like there, there's like actually like uses of. Um, oh, we, we just slide here. We don't have to. Um, oh, yeah, this this thing, um, you know, it was designed with flight in mind. So even though there are some platforming challenges that you can just straight up be like, nah, I'm, I'm going to skip you, um, you know, it still works. Because they probably had it in mind, like, yeah, you'll have fly by then. Uh, and it is tied into it, so where you can find some fun stuff with fly. God, I keep trying to jump. <laughs> can you not jump? No. <laughs> I'm stuck in oh. sliding. Oh, we're not going to do this. Yeah, I ran into too many things. That's fine. It was, it was the first try. Oh, never mind. Oh. I did it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> with zero seconds left. I feel like sometimes that zero seconds left is a little bit more generous than others. Yeah, I I also feel like that one... Maybe I'm thinking of a different thing. I feel like one of the, the last overworld ones was pretty tricky. I remember that one. I, I remember having to redo that a couple times. Yeah, maybe, maybe that was the one. Was it this? Is this something? Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think we can do this one yet. Can we... Capital B decided, you know what? I hate this one fucking page <laughs> so much. Yeah, we're, be we're being pushed back by the wind. And, uh, can try you? Yeah, we can spin dash. Maybe we can spin dash force our way through. I think that's what I did. I, I think that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, okay. There's a single power-up left in the game that I was thinking, like, maybe the power-up, we need it. Oh, our energy might be uh, a little too low for this. I don't know, we had just enough to get it. Hooray! Yeah. I thought we needed the, the very last power-up to maybe, like, negate thing. Look at how fast they are! <laughs> just like shit. Sonic. <laughs> Holy shit! Hey, I mean, we did get the ability to spin dash. Which the the game does straight up say, like, you can spin dash like, like a trouser does. And uh, you, you were just so smart because you were like, yeah, you can spin dash now. And I was like, wow, Steve is so smart. Just being like getting that off the cuff. But the game does also just straight up say it. And I didn't notice it. And this will just link us back to a previous area. I just want to see where it takes us. Yeah. I thought there was a little cutscene that we got here, but maybe it doesn't uh, happen until we get the uh, enter the last world. Maybe I need to get closer to that door. So I'm a little too... A little worried about getting too close to that door. Let me just check our, our totals. Totals a game. Oh wait, it started us on the actual totals. That's nice. Oh, I don't need to be worried about getting... Uh-oh. That was scary. I unpaused the game and it stayed... Um, stayed darkened. Let's, uh, let's approach this door and see if anything happens. But I'm thinking maybe we won't get the, the cutscene. Or, oh, we, we just gotta talk to the door. 
drive Tarma? Does that mean anything to you, Steve? Nope. Hey. Must be one of those across the pond things. Quack, you foul fool. Pretty good. Foul, foul fool. See, this is interesting. Capital B was like, oh, we should have gotten that, that military personnel. Which, uh, you know, shows, you know, the capitalist slide into, like, just straight up, like, milita militant fascism. It's true. That's really what this has all been about. I mean, that is what they go for with uh, capital B and, uh, spoilers, the sequel. Spin equal. Sorry. Yep, so, uh, this is the door to the final boss. You cannot enter unless you get 100 of the 145 pages in-game. Also, they should... Do it should make his accessible ramp a little uh, less uh, temporary. <laughs> be, be kinder to, to Dr. Quack. That's not in capital B's blood. It's not in the capital at all. That's right. I don't think there's anything up here at all. But No, know. I, I always went up there thinking that there should be something and there just never was. They should put a mumbo token up here. Yeah. Not, not a Molly cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got gotcha. you. Oh, wrong one. I'm going to have to... Oh, hey, it worked out. It, it worked out. So it's time for the fabled last world of... Oh, that hurts you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I love the last world because if you jump into the water, it hurts you. Mm, 12 pages. Bit rich for my blood. It's time for Galleon Galaxy. So, Steve, do you know what's cool? What's cool? Space. Space is pretty cool. You know what else is cool? What? Pirates. Mm-hmm. Do you know what else 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 is cool? That was probably one too many else's. Uh, blacklight golf. Oh, that that is actually the the uh, <laughs> that's actually the uh, the non-branded version of I was. I was gonna say uh, Pizza Planet from Toy Stories, but yours, yours uh, makes a lot more sense. <laughs> it's Galleon Galaxy. It's space. It's pirates. It's great. This is favorite level, best level. I love it's this place. One. Oh, Steve, how are we gonna make it all the way over there? If only there was a way. Oh man, it's so weird to see this place not expanded. I, yeah, because I've I've never seen this place unexpanded. Um, there's a. Uh, I don't think there's nearly as much that you can do in this one unexpanded as you can other worlds. Yeah, I um like just checking like my notes for it, and my notes could be wrong because uh uh the the Wikipedia stuff for um for this level was a, a a little bit lacking. Uh, like they didn't like have all the like quills listed out, which they have for all the other worlds. Hey. Mm. Which. At one point in this Let's Play, I was going to be like, here's how many pages you can get immediately and stuff like, but I mean, rather than memorizing that and saying it, like, I've just been doing it instead because I would never be able to remember numbers. Yeah. Um, and also just then added the quills on top of that. Just, it was going to happen. Oh, Trouser's uh, spoiling the last move. Last move of the entire game. We're going to have all the moves, Steve. Are you we're excited? Gonna, uh, we're going to have it all. We're going to have our cake. We're going to eat it. Oh, this trouser. There he is. There's our guy. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to afford this last move, though. We only have, like, what, 300 quills? J yeah, just something like that. The last move is, like, 600 quills. <laughs> There's no tax in space. It's international space waters. Mm, I've heard that about space. There it is. Sonar shield. Final move. I believe we needed this move for... Um, I'm not sure if I'm mixing it up, but uh, there's a there's a overworld page like right next to tribal stacks, the tropics, and I think you might need this for that one. Not entirely sure. But now when we roll, we can activate a force field. And it makes a great like you uh Laylee does like she she like echo locates and it like echoes really great. Yeah. It's good. It's a cool move. It's kinda like the the Wonder Wing for this game. Closest equivalent. 
this one I think that I think is a better like I think that the the sonar shield thing is a is a more fun move than the the wonder wing oh really yeah because I, I it was always you, like you go fast you go fast and I just like like you always were so limited to how many gold feathers you had at any given time I never wanted to do mm, it right uh, it's it's like an instance where like it just using that power bar does really work out yeah like I think as a whole like just like regenerating energy as opposed to like uh, uh, ammunition is just just a straight up a good idea for most things yeah I I mostly just meant like kind of in contrast to uh the flight power you know oh yeah 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 also you can go fast the downside is and this is going to be a uh, uh, I mean everything's subjective because objective stuff is very boring and limited um uh, but like the uh when you do the Wonder Wing, you get the da -da -da -da, and music play. That's true. And this one, uh, oh, also these corplets are great. <laughs> little, little brain aliens. Yeah, I always forget about these guys. Well, there's a lot of. There's uh, some berries. of the more different ones. They change yeah, the silhouette a lot more than the other ones do. Yeah, and they're not um, like like a. Uh, uh, Moody Maze and uh, Capital Cashino kind of have gross corplets. <laughs> Yeah. These corplets are, are, you know, they're they're cute. Why am I... I can't get berries right anymore. It's the, it's the attack button. Whenever my attack changes, it just... I can't remember the buttons. <laughs> my memory of uh, how this game works is so, like, conditional. So this world is, is interesting, because I feel like it has, like, one of the best, um... Like, uses of the expansion mechanic... And maybe that's just like th this area is so limited compared to the full like breadth of this level. Yeah. So it's just like oh you can come in you can like explore a little you know it's fine it's cool. Um, where's the fire? There's the fire. And we get to become this cool shadow the hedgehog looking. Oh yeah, that is ice. <laughs> Thought we were having some uh, ice glass <laughs> difficulties. Yeah. Let's see what's in the last area. Oh. What is this? What is it indeed? If we glow, are we electric? <laughs> is that a mechanic? Maybe that's it. No. Is this an expansion thing? I don't think it's an expansion thing. I got a screen. I just think that there's a new thing that you can that you can lick with Yuka in here. Do I gotta lick some batteries? Yeah, I think you might have to lick some batteries. <laughs> God, that's a fucked up thing. That's a bad le lesson to teach children. Why would they do that? At least I thought that there was. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else to lick. Oh, wait, wait. There's. It sounds like there's something short-circuiting when you're walking back. Oh, that was me. Um, I was, I was honey mode. No, I know. I meant... I meant even before then, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, here... Oh, yeah, I hear it. Oh, there we oh. go. Yeah. They oh my are, god, you do gotta lick a battery. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn. I wonder if that was memory or, or me thinking I'm funny. <laughs> Why not both? Oh man, we're like the opposite of the Shadow the Hedgehog one now. Now we're like a Silver the Hedgehog. Finally, you come from the future to. Uh, I don't know anything about Silver the Hedgehog. Silver the Hedgehog's a good boy. He's a Not good right. boy in I'll a bad your game. Word for it. Um, I've, 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 I've referenced this in other Let's Play, and by that I mean the, the Sonic one I did. Um, but, um, uh, Video Chess and, uh, a GGDG did a, a stream ages ago of, uh, Sonic 06, where they came up with the most amazing, like, headcanon for, like, um, Silver that seems like, you know, maybe, maybe not, not, not incorrect. Just... So in, uh, uh, Sonic 06... Um, Silver the Hedgehog has a friend named Blaze the Cat. Blaze the Cat does not interact with anyone in that game other than, uh, other than, than Silver the Hedgehog. And then she, like, dies, but when she dies, she disappears into sparkles. So maybe Blaze is, uh, Silver the Hedgehog's imaginary friend. 
Oh. Now, Blaze does show up in other games, but, you know. They well, that's retcon- a different Blaze. Yeah, they, they retcon uh, uh, Shadow's death with, like, you know, clones and... I didn't realize that Blaze the Cat came from that game. I think the the Sonic uh, Rush DS one might have happened first. I'm not entirely sure, though. That's what I always thought. But she is in that game. Yeah. I think that's where I thought she came from. It could be a a different universe. That's the universe where uh, Sega uses uh, Malcolm X uh, voice clips in their music. Right. What a weird thing. (laughs) We really weird thing to do. Truly bizarre. So in the original recording, I mentioned a rumor that Hunted P, the rapper who did the lyrics and vocals for Knuckles raps in Sonic Adventure 2, wasn't paid for his work, which turned out to not only be a lie, uh, but also that he's a weird abuser. So cut that part of the audio and informed you that he's a jerk. Oh, Steve, do you... I'm not sure if it came up on screen when we went inside this place, but do you know the name of this building? No. It's the Lightspeed House. Mmm. Really good. Oh, that's fun. See, by turning on the Lightspeed House, Dr. Puzz's boat was able to come to shore. This game's great. I love I, I love a video game. There's a video game, video game pretty good sometimes. I will maybe suggest... You know, even if there's stuff that we can do with the transformation here. Yeah. Maybe yeah, hold g- off till the expanding. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to we're gonna hold off. Don't worry, Steve. You and I are on the same page, vis-a-vis Good. transform. Same pagey. Oh, shit. See, Steve, this is why you're here, because you're, you're just so smart. And uh, viewers might know, but also cute. <laughs> <laughs> You weren't the cutest boy in the office for nothing. I'm not telling tales out of school. There's a lot of peer here. Yeah. Which button make... Oh, I'm pushing the button to go down. Either that or they're just falling. You're gonna be going down here shortly either way. (laughs) Yeah, I should just... Whatever. I'll just take the three damage. Now, could you have fallen into the the muck and taken one damage instead? You want to find out? (laughs) This is important scientific work. Yeah, this is Let's Play, baby. Yeah, you were right, Steve. See, now, now, now our... Dear viewers, when they end up in a situation where they can't remember which button makes the, the, the thing descend faster, they'll know exactly what to do. This is ice, but you know, you never know. Hmm. Are we able to just skip using the, uh... No, we got we got to use the, uh, the transformation to... Yeah, this... This area actually really threw me off. Uh, in the uh, the when I when I played this game the first time because uh, you can kind of explore the whole thing, but some quills appear here in the expanded version. Oh, so really? I had, I did not think to look over there for uh, for quills because I had already gone over there. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll leave some uh some pages not collected then, damn. Hey. Yeah, cuz I think we were able to get four pages before expanding this area, but yeah, we'll just we'll go ahead and I guess expand it. So we're we're probably actually pretty like pretty close to to being done with this before uh expanding. It's, it's strange to see like, you know, yeah, this world's like, like such smaller in scope, like compared to the others. Like for now, <laughs> emphasis on for now. I I feel like with the lighthouse, uh, and the way that this world expands, that they were maybe planning on it being even smaller or something, and having that be what expands it. Like maybe it, like being covered in fog or something. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, but that is purely speculation. Hey, but gamers love speculation and theory. That's true. Let's talk game theory. Well, if this level had fog at first, and then you turn the lighthouse on when you expand it, and that clears the the fog. 
Trouser is Yuka's dad. Wow. They were dead this whole time. Sans Undertale is Laylee. That's true. Yeah. Same character. I like those weird little, like, alien plants. Yeah. I don't well, so here's the here's the thing, right? Like, this is this is a platforming challenge that they have set up here for your enjoyment, but you can just you're you're there. Well, there's nothing up here. No, there's nothing up here specifically. But is there a button? I'm, I'm guessing there's a button I'm supposed to push, and then they expect me to platform up here. Oh no, no. You you were like right by where you needed to be. Oh. <laughs> nope. I gotta learn which one does what. You just fly through the big ring? No, no, no. I meant like platform wise, you were like right by where you needed to be. Oh. Is this a. Do I gotta use a transformation to open that? Like all the others? Oh, I hear Normie. But it doesn't matter because we're dead. <laughs> Guess I'll just platform up this way. Since I since I don't know what Steve does, I may be misremembering Oop. part oh. of it too. That was scary. <laughs> Hope that didn't mess anything up. Why? I, I I flicked my finger and accidentally hit my space bar and made a Yuka jump. And then I was also worried, like, what if it stopped a recording? But I can I can see the recordings are good. Unless like something like even more deeply fucked up is wrong with the uh, the the recordings. That's fine. What could ever happen? Um, your audio might... could could be being mixed into the game. That would be pretty bad. Uh, but that shouldn't be happening based on how I have my audio set up. What the hell's happening here? I hear normally. Oh, I... oh, wait. Can you get on? Because normally goes like, hey-ho, and he's going, hey-ho. Yeah. Oh, we can come in here. But he That's made, like, all a... it was. Oh, okay. That's it. Yeah, you just stand on the platform and it goes <laughs> down and you can get in. Yeah, I saw I saw that uh that that platform and I was like, oh, the the, the down platform. I was like, I guess I don't want to get on that one because it goes down. I'm not trying <laughs> to go down. Well, I guess this is all we're gonna do with uh Galleon Galaxy for the time being. Uh, you know, we didn't do a lot here, but. Hopefully, I'll get why this place is so cool. Look at the sky. It's nice and purple. Yeah, space. you understand everything there is to know. We get all our moves. Like, we have all our moves. Ukulele's online. We can do anything we want in this video game. Nothing anywhere in this video game could tell us no through any means whatsoever. Isn't that incredible, Steve? That's amazing. We have complete dominion over this game. I feel so free. Well, Steve? I'm a little bit too free. Starting to get scared. See, Steve, and I knew you'd react that way. I know too much freedom scares you. And that's why, instead of playing more of this wonderful level we've just unlocked, we're going to go back through and get everything in every other level before coming here again. Sounds about right. I thought you'd be sadder oh. about that. But, Zach. I... I just... I don't know. I would be... So bored looking at all the levels that we went through just looking exactly as they did last time. Well, we expanded most of them, so tough shit. Also, we didn't expand Capo Cassino. That was on purpose, because I wanted to do a full world tour before we go back to the, the, the cool level that, that both Steve and I like. Yeah. I wanted to blue but balls I, I just for a little bit like, longer. Like... I don't what know what if, you're saying, Steve. What if there was what if there was a new way to look at each world? Okay, fine. We'll go talk about Dendi and her tonics. 